Hi, thanks for joining us on Community Connection. I'm your host, Tracy Christensen. Many individuals in our community look for ways to reach out and help others, even those in developing nations. Today, Wendy Bird, the founder of Pearls with Purpose, is here to tell us what her organization is doing to help people all over the world, really. All over, yeah. <laughs> thanks for being here, Wendy. Thanks for having me. Yes, your charity, Pearls with Purpose, tell us how it got started and what you do. Um, we started back in 2002, and we actually began just with a small focus of assisting individuals in Philippines with container shipments. And the container shipments went out every few weeks, and we were focused on women making products and trying to find a way to move those products for the women. And all of a sudden, it turned into this whole 501c3. We have three initiatives. We support medical, dental. We do microenterprise training. So over the last 12 years, it's kind of blossomed into its own beast. Wow. Yeah. And you do serve people in the Philippines and mm -hmm. also uh, India? India and Cambodia. So we're in the Great. three different countries right now. And you brought a lot of beautiful jewelry today made from pearls and gemstones and silver. Right, it's yeah, gorgeous. each country has its own focus, and so it's really remarkable what each country can produce. It's different everywhere. And tell us how we can be involved in supporting Pearls with Purpose. There's a myriad of ways that people can jump in. We do volunteering, I mean, we use volunteers all the time, and we have a pledge program, which is an ongoing program for the individual. We have a genuine pearl at the end of a oh, chain, yeah. and every act of service that a person does, whether it's um, donating money from a lemonade stand, helping their grandmother learn how to use her cell phone, we have a charm that matches that act of service. And they then put it on the necklace, and it showcases how they're making a difference in the world today within their own community. And that's something anybody can do. That's wonderful. The main focus is self-reliance for women in developing countries. And one of the things that was identified early on back in 2002 was these women are very talented. They have a huge desire within their hearts to make a difference for themselves on their own. And they don't want to hand out, they want to hand up. And um, living in remote villages and in areas where it's not easy to move products, we decided the solution was to help move the products for them. So along with the microenterprise training, we bring the products into America because they make things that American women love. Yeah. And um, they do work mostly with genuine pearls and then in India with the semi-precious gemstones and then in Cambodia, it's with the uh, sterling silver and macrame. So each country kind of has its own niche of what they cater to and we just move the products for them and they are able to put their kids in school, feed their families and create lifelong change for themselves. It's, so do you just get giant boxes of jewelry on your porch? <laughs> it's kind of like Christmas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. I know. I said you should have told me I could yeah. be shopping today. <laughs> and so tell us some of the success stories that, that you've experienced and that these women have experienced with their lives being changed by this opportunity. Oh, those, those are amazing. I feel like for the last decade, I've been able to watch miracles unfold in front of my eyes, um, especially going back into the Philippines. That, that's where we've been the longest, and um, the women have built their own houses, they have um, their kids, which at the very first trip out, there were, they were out begging on the streets, fetching water, they couldn't go to school, they didn't have money for school, even the public schools. They cost like 50 to $70 a year, which is typically what the family makes over the course of a year. And so even a public school situation isn't an option. And now these kids, they're in college and they're graduates and they have these dreams and hopes. Um, we've seen several of the kids get married and start their own families. And they work in the co-op as well as their mom because it actually is, it, it's a revenue generator for them lifelong. It's a new family business. Yeah, really. yeah. And, and so you're saying that a piece of jewelry might be, their, their salary for half of a year or a whole year. Oh, that, yeah. In that way, we can yeah. contribute to really oh, changing absolutely. the lifestyle. Yeah, yeah. The more products that are moved for them, the more long term self reliance. That's incredible. They have. Tell us your website. We are at pearlswithpurpose.com. Okay, so and so people can go and there. find out how to just donate to the charity oh, or yeah. be able to find out more about the jewelry and about the women that it serves. Yeah, yeah. They can do school tuition scholarships, they can um, help support medical and dental. Um, there's different, uh, different opportunities that go on in each country. 
Um, one of the supports that we just recently did in September was eyeglasses for the co-op of women who were talking to us about the fact that they couldn't see very well the jewelry. <laughs> that and would we be were hard. Just, yeah, and we're just kind of like, you know, we never really oh, thought that yeah. eye vision would I be would a have problem. That problem. <laughs> and, and their attitude was, oh, that's so expensive. You know, like we would never go buy a pair of glasses. We would never go to an optometrist appointment. So we worked with a local optometrist and she got everybody outfitted with glasses and with the vision exam and mm -hmm. I mean testing for glaucoma like everything and that's what one of the things the foundation supported and the women were just overjoyed we have some really great pictures of them in their glasses and yeah they all Exciting. have amazing stories to tell well it's neat to think that you're connected in this way with women all over the world so thank you for what you've done and for bringing it to us today oh yeah absolutely here at 11, we strive to bring you information about organizations that seek to do good, not just here in Utah, but around the world. To learn more about Pearls with Purpose, please visit their website or kbyu11.org and click on the Community tab. Thanks for being with us. Please join us again on Community Connection.